Now let's discuss question number 8. It states here that form the differential equation representing the family of curves y is equal to e raised to the power 2x whole into a plus bx where a and b are any two arbitrary constants. So this question carries two marks. Here very first when we are talking about this family of curves that is y equal to e raised to the power 2x whole into a plus bx. If you bring e raised to the power 2x to the left hand side then you will definitely obtain that we have e raised to the power minus 2x into y equal to a plus bx. Now if I differentiate here both the sides with respect to x you can see here I am using up this rule that differentiation of u into v upon dx is equal to u into dv by dx plus v into du by dx. So I am considering here the two functions as u and v where I have e raised to the power minus 2x and y. So that clearly gives me e raised to the power minus 2x into dy by dx plus I have y into e raised to the power minus 2x where differentiation of e raised to the power minus 2x is simply e raised to the power minus 2x into minus 2. Where on the right hand side when you differentiate a plus bx differentiation of a is 0 and differentiation of bx is b. Next you will obtain here that when I take up e raised to the power minus 2x as common this simplifies to dy by dx minus 2y multiplied with e raised to the power minus 2x equal to b. Now again if I differentiate both sides with respect to x then you can find that I am applying the same thing here that differentiation of u into v upon dx is equal to here e raised to the power minus 2x and differentiation of dy by dx minus 2y is d2y by dx square minus twice of dy by dx plus I am keeping this as it is that is dy by dx minus 2y and differentiating e raised to the power minus 2x that gives me here e raised to the power minus 2x into minus 2 while on the right hand side when you differentiate the constant b with respect to x you get 0. So now in this step you can clearly see that I can take up here e raised to the power minus 2x as common and on simplifying this you can find that here I have d2y by dx square while in this case I have minus 2 dy by dx when this minus 2 gets multiplied to dy by dx as well as minus 2y it results here minus 2 dy by dx minus 2 dy by dx that is minus 4 dy by dx plus I have minus 2y into minus 2 that is 4y. So in this way we have obtained this is the required differential equation because when you transpose e raised to the power minus 2x to the right hand side it will become 0 because 0 upon any quantity is 0 itself. So this is the required answer for this question where we have obtained the differential equation. I hope it is clear to you. So this was a two marker question where if you obtain equation till this step you will obtain one mark till here. And when you obtain here this final differential equation, you will obtain rest 1 mark. That gives you total 1 plus 1, 2 marks for this question. I hope it is clear. Let's proceed to our next question. Now let's discuss question number 9. Here in this question number 9, we have two choices. The first choice states it dies thrown 6 times. If getting an odd number is a success, what is the probability of getting 5 successes and getting at most 5 successes? So this carries 2 marks. And here in the choice 2 you have the random variable x which is giving you the probability distribution as p of x in this following form. We will come to this. Let's discuss firstly the first choice given. Here in this case as it is clearly being stated that probability of getting an odd number is a success. So I can say that this probability of success in one attempt is let's say p. So taking that into consideration I can obtain probability of getting an odd number when a die is thrown is equal to 3 by 6 that is 1 by 2. As you know 3 odd numbers will be 1, 3 and 5 when you throw the dice. Moreover the probability of getting an unsuccess attempt is q that is complement of p that is also 1 minus 1 by 2 half. Unsuccess means probability of not getting an odd number. So taking this into consideration very first let us come to the first part of this question where you have to obtain the probability of getting 5 successes. So when we talk about probability of getting 5 successes in 6 attempts then that clearly gives you 6 c 5 p raised to the power 5 q raised to the power 1. As you know here p is 1 by 2 as well as q is 1 by 2 substituting that 
you can easily simplify and this value is 6 upon 2 raised to the power 6 which is 6 upon 64 and it clearly reduces to the value 3 upon 32. So, this is the required answer for first part of this question. Now, let us come to the second part of this question. Here you have to find the probability of at most 5 successes in 6 attempts. Now, talking about this, I will be taking here the complement of probability of getting 6 success because we are talking about finding the probability of at most 5 success. So, you need to subtract here the case of probability of 6 success from 1 that will give you the required result. And how you define the probability of 6 success that is 6 e 6 p raised to the power 6 q raised to the power 0 where p is 1 by 2 and q is also 1 by 2 substituting that value here i get 1 minus 6 c 6 that is 1 and next 1 by 2 raised to the power 6 and this clearly simplifies to the value 1 minus 1 upon 64 where you take lcm to get the answer as 63 upon 64 so this is the answer for second part of this question you can clearly observe that we have obtained the required answer. So, when you find the answer for first part of this question, you will get complete 1 mark for this. On solving this second part, you will score 1 mark. So, 1 mark for the first part, 1 mark for the second part that gives you total 2 marks for this question. Now, let us proceed to the second choice provided in this question number 9. Here, this second choice gives me that the random variable x has probability distribution as p of x in this following form where k is some number. Here this probability distribution tells me that if x is 0, p of x is k, when x is 1, p of x is 2k, when x is 2, p of x is 3k, otherwise it is 0. Determine the value of k. Taking this into consideration, I have this as the probability distribution. As you know that sum of all the probabilities in a probability distribution is equal to 1. So, we know that here sigma p of x i will be equal to 1. So, let us take up the sum total of all of these that is k plus 2k plus 3k plus 0 will be equal to 1. So, on simplifying this you get 6k equal to 1 and that simplifies to the answer that I have here k equal to 1 upon 6 the required answer for this question. So, this is also a 2 marker question. So, when you obtain this step where you represent that sum of all probabilities is 1, you will get 1 mark till this step and when you solve it completely to get the value of k, you will obtain rest 1 mark. So, 1 plus 1, you get total 2 marks for this question. I hope this is clear to you. Let us proceed to our next question. Now, let us take up question number 10. Here, this question states a die is marked 1, 2, 3 in red and 4, 5, 6 in green is tossed. Let A be the event where the number is even and B be the event where number is marked red. Next it states find whether the events A and B are independent or not. So, we are talking about independent events. When events are independent then probability of getting let us say A and B will be equal to product of the probability of A and probability of getting B. So, let us define here the events as per question the events are defined as A when number is even and when you obtain even number on the die when you get 2, 4 or 6 on the die. Moreover, B is the event when the number is marked red. According to the question, it is marked red at 1, 2 and 3. So, now let us obtain the event of getting A and B that is A intersection B. It is given as the number when it is even as well as red. So, it is possible only when it is appearing 2 on the die. So, now let us obtain these respective probabilities for the events. So, probability of occurrence of event A that means probability of occurrence of getting an even number it is 3 upon 6 that is 1 by 2. Next, probability of occurrence of event B that is getting a red number on the die that is th again 3 upon 6 it is also 1 by 2. And when you talk about probability of A intersection B that is getting a number even as well as red this is 1 upon 6. So, when we consider this case and try to obtain product of the probability of event A and event B, you will find here this is half into half that is equal to 1 by 4. But you can clearly see product of these two probabilities is not equal to A intersection B that means probability of getting A and B. So, I could definitely state in this case that as here A intersection B that means probability of getting a intersection B is not equal to the product of probability of A and probability of B. 
So here A and B are not independent events. I hope this question is clear to you. So when you have obtained all these probabilities till this step you will obtain one mark and when you have shown here that these are not independent events you will obtain rest one mark. So 1 plus 1 that gives you total 2 marks for this question. I hope it is clear. Let's proceed to our next question.